Hello, everyone. Look at all of the progress we are making on this quilt. Welcome back to the mystery quilt, Happiness is Homemade. Today, we're going to be doing blocks 9 and 10, the egg block and the coffee block, which I think is probably my new favorite of this quilt. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the pattern. We're going to look at the applique pieces, how I plan on cutting out my pieces. Then we're going to move over to the iron and fuse all the applique down onto our background blocks. And then we're going to spend some time at the sewing machine as we sew down all of the applique. We'll finish up the video by taking a look at our finished blocks for this week. Now, as excited as I am to finish making the blocks for this quilt, to reveal the layout of where all the blocks go and see what this quilt top looks like assembled, we're going to take a break. We are quickly approaching Christmas. After this week, we have December the 20th. We will meet next Friday for two more blocks, and then we're going to take a break so that you can enjoy Christmas with your friends and family. Many of you have been working so hard on projects that we just want to take some downtime. Come into the new year refreshed and ready to create. So I'll meet you next Friday for two more blocks and then we're taking a break until January the 10th where we will pick back up for the remaining, let's see, what is it, three more weeks? It'll be two or three more weeks after that. And so, yes, Merry Christmas from me and my family. Let's get busy. Let's move you down to the mat and take a look at what this week's blocks look like. Let's start this week by taking a look at our two blocks that we're doing together. Block number nine is called eggs. And then block number 10 is called coffee. This might be my new favorite block. <laughs> so for this week, we have four files in the Etsy listing. Two are for PDFs, blocks nine and 10. And then each one of your blocks comes with its own SVG file. So there's two SVGs. Of course, if you're not using the SVGs, you can just leave them right with Etsy and there's no need to download those two files. Let's go ahead and take a look at each one of the individual blocks for the eggs pattern. It is two pages. Here are my templates that have been mirror imaged. I numbered these just to give an example. It might uh, be helpful for you if you want to number your eggs. They're in no particular order. I just wanted to show an example of sometimes what I do to keep track of all of my pieces. And then, uh, of course, our letters are mirror imaged in our little basket. For block number 10, the coffee block, it is one, two, three pages long. And of course, you have all of your measurements on the first page. You have your letters and the parts for your uh, saucer and then your coffee cup. So this week what I've done is uh, all of my smaller bits I sent over to the Brothers Scan and Cut and cut those out really quickly with uh, the cutting machine with the SVG files and then my larger pieces for this week like the coffee mug I traced with Heat and Bond Light and my light box and simply cut those out by hand. So let me show you what my pieces look like before we start with the applique fusing part. This is uh, what my fabric pieces look like for block number nine, the eggs block. And this is what my fabric pieces look like for block number 10, our coffee block. So now we're going to go ahead and move over. I have all of my applique pieces cut out and we're ready to start fusing these pieces down. We're ready to start fusing down all of our applique. I've removed the paper backing from the heat and bond light and now we can play with the placement of all of our pieces. You'll notice that with the eggs there are four whole complete egg shapes. Those four eggs go to the left of the basket and then the other five egg pieces have been altered slightly in the shape. You can play around with the placement of them and you can layer the pieces if you'd like. I'm going to add a little bit of separation to mine. Once you're happy with your placement, you can fuse down your pieces. And then I'll bring over my letters. 
and position them on my background fabric. Feel free to get creative in your placement of all of your applique pieces. And here is all of our pieces in our block for block number nine. For block number 10, I'll bring over the coffee cup and saucer pieces and get those situated down on my background fabric. Again, you can layer them like I'm doing with the handle or you can add separation to your pieces like what I've done with the saucer applique pieces at the bottom. I'll get these pieces fused down and then I'll bring in the letters and starting in the middle, I'm going to work my way around the top of my coffee cup. Again, feel free to play with the placement and use your creative judgment on how you want to fuse down your pieces. And now we're ready to move over to the sewing machine. To start this week, we're gonna do some free motion stitching. I'm going to stitch out the word eggs with my free motion foot. As always, you can use any stitch that you would like to use, and this will be the only time I'm doing free motion stitching this week, as the rest of my stitches will be using the satin stitch. Bring you along as I stitch out the letters for my eggs block, and then I will rethread my machine and we will do some satin stitches on the eggs. Finishing up now, I'm going to rethread my machine with some white embroidery thread. Change my foot, and now we're going to do some satin stitches. I'll bring you along as I stitch out the eggs that are in the basket. Because we've created the layers the little eggs that are in the basket. We will do some start and stops where the basket overlaps a couple of the eggs. I'll bring you along as we stitch out the eggs in the basket. Now we're going to move over to the first freestanding egg and I'll bring you along as I stitch out this egg. And 
Then to save some time, we're going to skip all the way down to the last egg and stitch this one out together. Once this egg is done, I'm going to re-thread my machine with some darker teal colored thread and stitch out the basket. This is the last piece of applique we'll be stitching for this block. You'll notice I do have the tearaway stabilizer underneath of my block to help keep my stitches nice and pretty and to help keep my background nice and flat. We'll stitch this out and then I'm changing thread and we'll meet back up on the coffee block. For the coffee block, I've decided to use a green thread to add some color and separation to my coffee cup. So I'm going to start with the handle because I layered that underneath of the larger section of the cup. We will stitch this out together. We'll do both the inside and outside portions of the handle and then I'll move up to the top portion of the cup. Starting at the top of the cup, I'm going to come down with my satin stitch and cover the starts and stops on my handle and make that a nice clean finish. And I'll work all the way around the cup. And then with the same green thread, I'm going to move down to the saucer, the green portion of the saucer and stitch that also. We will stitch out this portion and then I'm going to change the color of my thread again. Now I'm going to come in with some brown thread and stitch out the coffee that's inside my cup. We've done some overlapping with our letters and so remember your starts and stops. The applique that's on the very most bottom should be stitched first so that any applique that's over top resting on the top is finished and covers the starts and stops of the applique down below. You'll notice I started to stitch out my little letter E and I realized <laughs> I still needed to stitch the brown part. So now I'm coming back with my maroon thread and I will pick up where I left off. We will stitch the letter E together so you can see 
how I stitch out my smaller letters. Then we'll skip the second E and come back and stitch out one of the F's together. Saving a little bit of time in today's video, I stitched out the first F and we will stitch out the second one together. I like to show this part of the process because many of you are new to a satin stitch and I want to be as detailed as possible. The last part of applique we're doing in today's video is the very bottom portion of the saucer. I'm using the same maroon colored embroidery thread and finishing up our applique for today. Now it might be totally my love of coffee that influences this, but yes, this is my most favorite block so far. So let's go ahead and add our sashing pieces. For the eggs block, you'll add your sashing to the top and bottom, and then press that open and trim. And then your left and right sashings get added, press those open, trim up all of your bits, and this is our finished eggs block. Then for the coffee block, we're going to again, add the top and bottom sashing pieces, press those open and trim. And then this is our finished block for the coffee block. We'll add the sashing to the right, press that open and trim. Yes, I think it's official. My favorite block so far now is the coffee block. How about you? Type down below in the comment section what your favorite block has been to this point. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, if you'd like to join the slideshow at the end of the videos, Here's the email address you can send them to. I've gotten lots of emails and everyone's so busy working on Christmas projects that the mystery quilt is waiting. And we might do some slideshow videos even after this series is done. So please don't feel like you have to rush to do these blocks. I know you are so busy. We'll do plenty of slideshows even after the quilts are done. And I'm thinking I'd like to put together a video um, of all your pictures after this series so please don't feel like you have to rush and if you want to show off all of your hard work you will have an opportunity to do that okay i'm off to work on next week's walks i can't wait to see you we will see you again on december the 20th and then get ready for christmas have a great week we will see you next friday have fun creating bye